Somalia is facing a leadership crisis after President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed's first term in office ended with no clear path toward elections. On Monday, an alliance of opposition parties said they would no longer recognize President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed. The UN Security Council will meet to discuss Somalia's political crisis. Now, the country was supposed to hold an election by Monday, but the February 8 deadline was missed as the central government and federal states squabbled over how to conduct the vote. Now, there's a tense atmosphere in the country. People in the capital, Mogadishu, told us they are fearful of what could happen. People are concerned because of the tension between presidential candidates and the government, and because the election was not held on time. We hope our leaders will resolve this tension and hold the election, and we hope the government and the opposition will come together and agree on the election process. We need peace and stability in this country. We don't want destruction to happen in the country, and we want a fair election to be held. We want both the opposition and the current government to work together for the good of the country. If the politicians don't come to an understanding, it could lead to war, destruction and the rising crime. And I am now joined by Abdulazid Bilo. He's a journalist in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Good to have you on the program, Abdulazid. Why are leaders in Somalia failing to agree on how to conduct the election? There's a number of setbacks that uh, Somali leaders have been uh, facing, uh, one of which is uh, the election uh, venues, uh, because uh, each of the country's five regional states, two el election venues have been designated for elections to take place. And uh, that does not apply in the regional state of uh, Jubaland. That is the one that shares the border with neighboring Kenya. Uh, federal authorities are of the view that uh, Jubaland elections will uh, can only take place in uh, Kismayo and uh, Gerbahari. But uh, Gerbahari is not under the control of that regional state of uh, Jubaland. It's under the control of the Somali federal government. And the regional leader in that area, Ahmed Mohamed Islam, argues that unless federal troops are pulled out of the entire Gedo region, then elections cannot take place there. So this is one of the biggest setbacks that has caused uh, the election uh, delay, and it's the one that uh, made the talks that were taking place over and over again to collapse uh, last uh, Friday. So there's also another setback, that is the election of lawmakers from Somaliland region, who are supposed to, the election supposed to take place in Mogadishu, but there's no mechanism in place yet ready on how these elections will take place. And there's right. also the issue, the composition of the Electoral Commission, because regional states are arguing that it is made up of the president's allies and it might tilt the, in favor of the current president in terms of elections. Okay. In the meantime, the opposition are insisting that the president step down and that a transitional council be appointed to leave the country until the election is eventually held. Is this likely to happen? Well, that is the uh, opposition uh, demands. Uh, it issued an ultimatum saying that the president will hand over power to this transitional national council. It has not yet been formed. Uh, authorities, and including the president, in his address recently to parliament, uh, said that uh, talks can still take place between regional and federal leaders. He did not rule out that uh, talks cannot happen. Uh, opposition are skeptical, saying that uh, uh, the current president, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo, is an obstacle to the implementation of the election itself. It says that it needs a transitional national council that will be headed by a group of individuals uh, that include uh, the speakers of the mm. Somali parliament, the Somali senate, members of the opposition, civil society. Unless all these people are brought on board, the opposition is adamant that if the current president is left to coordinate the election process, then elections might never happen. That is their biggest worry for now. But it's not clear whether this transitional national council will right. even be formed because uh, we are expecting uh, talks to uh, continue in the next uh, coming weeks, according to authorities. Right. We know that President uh, Mohammed Abdullah Ali Mohammed was running for a second term. Um, what was his first term like, and, and would he possibly have won re election with, with major public support? Exactly. As you've mentioned, it, uh, the current uh, president in 2017 came in 
uh, amid a triumph, amid uh, a happiness from the Somali public who are very eager for his presidency because in 2011 he was ousted as prime minister and the country witnessed a mass demonstration. So many people were yearning for his leadership. But over the years, things didn't turn out as the Somali public expected in terms of security. For instance, there were deadly al-Shabaab attacks that escalated time and again, including a deadly attack in September, uh, in, in October rather, 14, 2017, that killed more than 600 people. That is the deadliest attack to ever take place in Somalia, and it happened under his watch. But uh, then again, uh, in terms of economic uh, reforms, financial progress, the rebuilding of the Somali security ar architecture, all these are some of his uh, strong points, and these are some of the issues that he's going to raise in his campaign uh, right. during uh, the upcoming uh, elections. So uh, many people People still, yes, and young for his leadership, say that he's, he deserves a second term, but then there's the biggest challenge now right. uh, in, in, that needs to be addressed, that is the election. Right, that's Abdulazid Bilal talking to us from Mogadishu. Thank you.